What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode on the My Life FC channel of the Arsenal Football Manager Save Up The Guns. In today's video, we have got the Carabao Cup third round draw. We have got the UEFA Europa League group stage draw. And we have got two games. One against West Ham and one against our unknown Carabao Cup third round opponent. So without further ado, let's get in to the draw for the Carabao Cup. Automatic draw. To speed this up, we'll do the first match automatic. Brentford versus Wigan. Man United, Leicester, Norwich, Ginningham, Everton, Huddersfield, Stoke, Birmingham, West Ham, Swansea, Brighton, Oxford, Sheffield Wednesday. Ooh. Sheffield Wednesday away in the Carabao Cup is the game that you will see later on in the episode. And Tottenham, the scam, get Preston. Burnley, Chelsea, Savannah Watford, and Man City away to Nottingham Forest. And there's confirmation. Arsenal get Sheffield Wednesday in the Carabao Cup. So there we go. Next up that you will see on this episode is the UEFA Europa League group stage draw. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's time for the UEFA Europa League, or as they say in the game because they haven't got rights, Europa Cup group stage draw. Arsenal are one of 12 teams that have been seeded first for the draw. So let's get going. Who, who's in our seed? Kiev, Ajax, Bilbao, Lazio, Zenit, Lyon. We can't get them though, but if we could, Lacazette, Link, Game, Big. Villarreal, Galatasaray, Fenerbahce, AC Milan, PSV. Who can we get? Marseille, Bordeaux, Bruges, Everton. Oh, we can't get Everton, they're, they're English. At any of these teams, I'll be fine to get because they're all bad. Right, let's go. Fenerbahce. Villarreal, Galatasaray, Lyon, PSV, Bilbao, Milan, Kiev. Oh wait, we've got to go down. Lazio, Zenit, Ajax, and we are in, oh, why are we in group L? Why have we got to be in the last group, make it difficult? It's another kick, ooh, Everton get Fenerbahce, that's big, that's big. It's just, it's made difficult for me. Now I've got to keep on. Oh yeah, we got to Group H to go down to see who we get, and we get Bordeaux because we know exactly who we get. So it's not really a surprise when we're drawing it because you can just look down here. Game, why? Well, um, I've only heard of one of them. No, I've heard of them, but I've never seen them play at all. Regia, Palatinaikos, Hertha Berlin. Koryberg, and then we got to go down again. And we get, oh look, you can just look down there, we get Freiburg. Wait, hang on. Oh, oh, wait, they're 15th, okay. I thought they were higher than that. Vitesse, Konyaspor, wherever they are, Lugano, AK, Zora, whoever they are, Zlin. And we... Don't get Atlanta. We get a Romanian team in Vitulial. Well, that's the draw. On to the games. Right, here we go. Carabao Cup game against Sheffield Wednesday. They are sitting 11th mid-table in the championship we are second high flying in the premier league only stoker above us and it's goal difference that they're above us on we kind of need to put our finger out a bit down at the bottom of the table palace west brom newcastle and the team that we are using today is this team right here we have got checking goal a back four of norton chambers Holding in class snatch, which in the last episode, which I'll talk about in a bit, I did show you this. I think I showed you this. I hope I showed you this. 
Kyle Norton signed. We also signed Luca Meeson. I think that's how you say it. Luca Meeson. If we go to reports, he's got a very good potential. We're using 923 at the moment, just developing a little bit. He's going to be very good. Very good, I think. So, that's the back four. Midfield of Jack Wilshire and Mohamed El Nenny with Welbeck and Sanchez as inside forwards on attack. Iwobi is the attacking playmaker on support. And Juru as the target man on the bench. Ospina, Bellerin, Ozil, Walcott, Kshelny, Cockley and Alexandra Lacazette. That is the team we are going with. We have got Sheffield Wednesday. And... The only thing that's bad about that is position one due to. Everyone was in the right position. Everyone had green. First time I'd have it full. Unlucky though, we don't, but let's get into it. Sheffield Wednesday versus Arsenal in the Carabao Cup. Right, here we go. That's their lineup. And kick off we go. So I would like to talk about what happened in the last episode. I the the main plan for this was to record the Chelsea video, the Chelsea game as one off, uh, as a one off special, but that hasn't happened because when I edited the video, it was all fine. Then I rendered it, and I rendered it in Sony Vegas, and it decided. Do you know what? Actually, we have to give you the black screen render so when i rendered it it decided do you know what yeah we're going to give you a black screen and the render just turned out to be black, which is awful for me Ut utterly awful because i didn't really want that i wanted to have a perfectly nice community shield special but we haven't got that and then you saw the first two games and the reason why i was like that was because i had to get a video out quick so I got those two games, I edited them down a bit, and I put in music over the top of it, with a bit of postcom just so they know what was happening. We're back at livecom for this one. We are back with the live commentary. And the way this series is going to work from now on is I am going to do two games per episode, but I will not play any games in between. I will do this game, then the Burnley game, and then whatever two games come after the Burnley game. Oh, brilliant tackle there from Chambers. They still have it though. And they're 1-0 they up. They're 1-0 up. Rose scores, they're 1-0 up. That's brilliant, that is. I really didn't want them to go 1-0 up against us. But they are. Certainly, as I was saying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two videos per episode. And once they are done, I will do the next two episodes that come just after that. And hopefully, everything will be okay. And you will like it. I may, at times, play a couple in between. So by that I mean, I may play a game or two in between. And then, I may or may not. It, it depends on how I'm feeling with it, really. Another thing that I wanted to talk about. Oh, they're 2 no up. We can't get knocked out. We cannot get knocked out. No. It's, it's not going well for me. Another thing I wanted to talk about was the, the series that I'm going to be doing after this. This will continue for as long as it needs to until we get to a point where we are able to stop doing it and we are able to do another series that the viewers want to see if I get to the point where I have enough subscribers subs and then we'll go back on to why can't I make subs oh I can now why couldn't I make them before great so yeah if I get enough subscribers at any point then I will decide whether or not I will be or do I want to be doing that no I don't really want to be doing that do I I bring Koscielny on there, sopping them, and then, no, and then bring in Alex Lacazette on up front as a complete forward with that as a setup, and hopefully we'll get some attack and play going. 
we're meant to be controlling them, but we're really not, so we're going to go attacking. And here we go. It's just we go. So yeah, subscribers. If I get enough subscribers, meaning I get enough viewership on a video, and enough comments saying what team you want me to do after this, then I will stop doing a series after one season in it, and I will start again in a new series that you will want to see as a long term. Well, it depends on what team it is, really. If it's a lower league team, it'll be a long term save. If it's a higher league team, like Chelsea or someone, it'll be a short term save. And I'll have to get more suggestions from you all and get more people to more people to suggest what series to do next as a more of a long term save at that point and then we'll be able to do it so that's what i wanted to talk about i haven't really got much more to talk about in this other than the fact that we're losing to a championship side that's sitting 11th and we're sitting very high up in the premier league and we are losing lacazette lacazette pulls one back here we go 86 minute 2-1 let's put it back let's get this going come on come on come on come on we need this we need this win and they've scored immediately. Look, this isn't FIFA. This is not FIFA. What's going on? Why is there a kickoff glitch? This is not FIFA. This is not FIFA. So why is there a kickoff glitch? Oh no! Why? Why are we going to lose to a championship side? Oh god. Oh no. And they're on the attack again. They're not going to get it because it's 94th minute. No one ever scores late on him. Football manager. We all know that. Finds Wilshire. Finds Onenny. And. Ooh. Hey. The whistle goes for full time. Right. And we demolished them. What is this? Oh. I'm not happy. I'm not. You see motivated and you look fired up. Why did you not do anything then? Right. That's that then. Next game is against Burnley. Away from home. They're 13th. It's on a Sunday. It's on the 24th. No. That's not good. Right. Burnley. Right. No need to dwell. Burnley away. Check and go. Back four of Bellerin, Koscielny, Mustafi and Kolasinac. With Ramsey and Jack Walsher in midfield. The, uh, the, the attacking three midfielders, I guess. I don't know what you call them. Theo Walcott, Meza Ozil and Alexis Sanchez. With Lacazette up top. And on the bench, Ospina, Chain with Iwobi, Welbeck, Monreal, Xhaka and Hyun. And on with the show. Here we go. There's their lineup. No Ben Me. Tarkovsky and Long. Did Ben Mee get sold? I believe Ben Mee must have been sold. Roy Brady got the most assists in the league. Lacazette most goals. Oh, is that in the team? No, it must be in the league because they both got three as well. Okay. Who's their captain? Tom Heaton. Kishoni's ours. Alright, let's go. End team top. And, oh. You come into this one in good form. It's a different. No comment. Send no comment. No comment. Oh, Ben Me hasn't been sold. They just asked me a question about him. I don't know what's happening with Ben Me. I really don't. But we're fifth. We're now playing our game. Why is that pause? If we can get a win, that will be much appreciated. Because if we get the win. Wait, do we go top if we get the win? I think we do. I think we go top if we get the win today. Oh, Walcott's missed. Oh, no. If we get the win, we go, to, we go top if we win today. Because we're on 13 points. We get two extra points, we go to 15. Walcott! No assist from Ozil. We go second. Walcott, this season, Walcott has been playing out of his skin for me. He's been something else. So, apparently, Goodmanson has been something else. That's disappointing. Can we get a goal? Lacazette. Through to Wilshire. Jackie boy, Wilshire. Jackie, Jackie boy. 
You scored last night against Chelsea and you miss that against Burnley. Come on, my man. You have to be scoring them. It could have been 2-1. But no, instead we're back down to fifth. Oh, we have to surely win this. I don't want to be sat in fifth after this. I want to be sat in second above all the teams apart from Stoke of all teams. I want to be sat above them. Effective for first place. Effectively, it will be first place, yes. But I, I don't know. Effectively, it will be because I don't see Stoke doing any better than what they're doing now. I just expect them to go down. And Walcott! <gasps> Walcott with a second! Go on, Walcott, boy. Go on, Walcott, lad. Walcott with his second goal of the game. This time, the assist from Sanchez versus from Ozil. This assist from Sanchez. It goes in. It comes back out. Walcott. Go on. Go on, Walcott, lad. Walcott again. Into Ozil. Uh, he nearly. Walcott nearly returned the favour. He nearly went. Do you know what, Ozil? You assist me. I'm going to assist you. Nearly just returned that favour. You get me? But now, Ozil on the run. It's, it literally is like watching Arsenal in real life. They, when they could pass it forwards, they decide, you know, actually, I'm going to pass it backwards and take for age, forever to build up the play. And I'm starting Kalasnach for the second game in a row, yes. What I wanted to do was do Monreal Kalasnach, Monreal Kalasnach, Monreal Kalasnach. But Kalasnach, there's no way is that a first half hat trick from Walcott. A first half hat trick? It is. It's a first half hat trick, and it's three different people that assisted him. Walcott has scored three goals for us in the first half, and we are second. One more goal. I think, I believe if we get one more goal, we do actually go top. Ahead of Stoke on goals scored, I believe. I, I think that, that's how it works. I think it's goals scored and it's goals against. I think we have scored more goals. So, I do believe we score again and win this. We will go top. Let's hope that Walcott keeps on scoring. Because he got a first half hat trick from three different people that assisted him. Let's hope Walcott can return the favour to each one of them. And we can get three more goals. Walcott assists Jack. Walcott assists Mezzet. Walcott assists Sanchez. And hey, Lacazette can even get himself a goal with no assists. Then he won't have to return the favour to anyone. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought Goodmanson was about to score a second. I got worried a little bit. I got very worried. And it's subs time. I forgot who we have on the bench. Who are we bringing on? That's who we have on the bench. Who are we bringing on? Monreal. You know what? Monreal for Mustafi. As a cent defensive central. Defend. Defensive centre back. There we go. I guess that, that works. Then Ramsey off for Xhaka. And Jacker can become a deep line playmaker on. Oh no, deep line playmaker on defend. And I don't want to bring anything else different on in the attack because they're all so good. Should we bring up? No, we won't. No, no, we're not gonna know. Two subs today is is all we're doing then. By the looks of it, we're only gonna do two subs today. I was expecting to do more than two subs today. It's only gonna be two subs against Burnley. Two subs I've said a lot in that little space of time. I'm not going to say it again. We're 3-1 up is what I will say though. Level on points with Stoke. And I'm really hoping that we can push. And we can get a fourth goal. And just see if the fourth goal making it 4-1 to us. Will put us top of the Premier League table. Check. Up. Oh, that was a terrible kick from Check. Oh, we got it back though. Can we... Can we do something? Can we stop being real life Arsenal and actually play forwards? Right, we'll pass. No, you're just. You're not good. You're being a bit good now. I better not say that they're not good. In case. Oh, Lacazette scores. We are good. Sanchez with his second assist of the game. Lacazette scoring. We are. We're first. We move up to first with that fourth goal. So now Lacazette should really repay the favour to Sanchez, shouldn't he? Um, yeah, that's how oh, have you missed? That's a corner. Okay, 
Why wouldn't it be a corner? We didn't kick it out, did we? Yeah, I better not shout you're bad to my players in case the microphone picks it up on the game and my players play badly and the morale goes down. So I should be quiet and whisper when I say you're just not good. But they're... You're all very good players. Yes. Hopefully that override it. Oh, switched off and confused, demotivated. That's probably from what I said. Oh, I need to press leave match, don't I? And that's the game. Where are we in the league? That's right, we're top. Three goals from Walcott, a hat trick. And Walcott is exceptional. And now he's perfect as a morale. We will go and take a look at the league table before. Yeah. 15 goals for, 6 against. 9 goal difference. And the big, big old 15 points. Man City 10th. Well, West Brom have 1 point. Okay. And Stoke are on the same as us, 15. But we're only ahead on goals for. So I was right. It is goals for before that. In the next episode, we have got Freiburg and Huddersfield to come immediately after Sheffield Wednesday and Burnley. And you'll see both of those games. I will not be playing any in between. It will be Freiburg and Huddersfield in the next game. Yeah, yeah obviously in the next games in the next episode of Up the Guns. That, ladies and gentlemen, brings this episode to a close. To review. We lost 3-1 to Sheffield Wednesday, who are 11th in the championship. And we won 4-1 against Burnley, who are sitting in the were 11th. They are now 15th in the Premier League. And the next episode, we have Freiburg in our... Oh, I should have mentioned that. We won 4-0 in the first game. And Freiburg won 3-0. So, we have got the other best team, or the team that has done... One less than us and on 3-0 instead of 4-0. In the next game, in the Europa League, Freiburg, away from home, big game. And then Huddersfield, televised in the Premier League. So, that's going to bring today's episode to a close, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Up The Guns. If you enjoyed it, please smash that like button and make sure you leave a comment on what team you want me to do after this first season of the Arsenal save as is finished. And we will see how many comments I've got and how many subscribers I've got and views I'm getting per video as to whether or not I change away from the series or keep it going. But please make sure that you hit that like button, you hit subscribe and you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you know whenever I upload. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen. You have been watching my life. I am my FFC, and I will see you all on the other side.